Why do search costs matter in institutional economics? And search costs are basically the costs associated with suppliers and demanders finding each other and finding a good match. So classically, uh, you've got labor markets where workers are searching for the right match in terms of a firm and employer to work with. And of course, the search costs happen on both sides. Uh, so the employer has to invest money in interviewing and reviewing resumes. The, the worker has to invest, well, the opportunity cost of their time that they could be spending, um, you know, doing something else in their search for a new job. So there's costs on both sides to finding the right match. And search costs include things like um, a firm deciding which, uh, which company to go with for their health insurance, which contractor to hire to cater their event. So um, search costs, basically anyone in a market where you have to figure out the right, uh, the right employer to match with, the right uh, firm to match with, you're trying to match a particular market that, that meets your needs best, the costs incurred as you do that through this market, that's search costs. Now, why are search costs so important for organizations and institutions? Well, let's start with organizations like firms. And a lot of times the decisions that firms make about whether you hire someone internally that actually works for the firm or whether you hire them on a, a hourly basis from a different firm, like whether you internalize the resources, the, the question there often has to do with search costs. For example, imagine your firm is a publishing company and you need some legal services, like you need services from lawyers who can review your contracts and uh, you know, evaluate uh, whether copyright has been violated, all of that. You need law services. So the question is, do you hire on an hourly basis from a law firm or do you internalize that by hiring a lawyer who works internally for your firm. And part of the deal here is that the search costs are often, uh, they often involve things that are very difficult to know until after you're working with a person. Like, is this uh, person you're working with cantankerous? Do they uh, follow through on what they say they're going to do? Do they do good work generally? And sometimes you don't know that until after you've hired the person. And of course, if you have to hire a new lawyer for every new job, that's going to be costly trying out a lawyer, finding that they're not a good fit or they're not providing the services you'd hoped for. Whereas if you hire them internally, it sort of brings the entire market inside where you have really good information about the quality of that product. So it reduces search costs. And as you might imagine, um, if if there are very high search costs to looking for somebody new, like maybe you have to interview a bunch of people, there's a risk associated with hiring someone who's not a good fit, then it might make a lot of sense to uh, bring that into the firm. And of course, search theory in economics is basically the, um, the search time, like how long you spend searching or how many people you interview or whatnot, there's, there's going to be a diminishing marginal benefit to that where the first few people you interview, um, maybe there's a high marginal value for interviewing a third person if you've only interviewed two, but if you've already interviewed 20, there's a low marginal value to adding the 21st 21st person that you interview um, because of course you're comparing the 21st the probability that they're better than the best of the first 20 so that's definitely diminishing at the margin and the costs are increasing because of course the the time that you're investing in the search there's an opportunity cost to the people's time who are doing the interviews so increasing marginal cost search theory is always about figuring out how long should we be searching for well if it comes to internal institutions, hiring people internally means every search you do, it's not just for this job. The benefit of that search is you're hiring someone great for a long period of time. So that's going to increase the benefit and it also potentially reduces the cost because of course the cost of acquiring information can be very high especially if it's information about the person's habits and whether they show up for work. And you know actually by hiring them, really the first couple of weeks they're working, you're gaining that information. And if you can fire them fairly quickly, then essentially the first month of their job is part of the search cost. But, um, but eventually, if that pans out, it will reduce search costs in the long run.
So that's for organizations. Now, we need to acknowledge that in economics, institutions are actually a broader category. Like, organizations are a subset of institutions. Where institutions include markets, they include uh, social norms, they include things like marriage as an institution. So an institution is basically rules, roles, and enforcement mechanisms, and expectations as well, that sort of structure human relationships. And the, the idea with institutions is even if it's not within an organization, it, it, it structures the relationships so that people know what to expect from each other when they enter into a contract. Like, people kind of know how labor markets work, how signing the contract works, they know, um, you know, roughly a time frame when they apply for jobs. And so the institution of the labor market sets all of those expectations that employers are expected to let people know if they've hired someone else. Employers are expected to move in a timely fashion. They're expected to communicate the benefits of the job, um, the wages of the job, all of that stuff. The expectations that are built into both sides of the market, that is an institution. So in a lot of ways, institutions, or at least economically oriented institutions, they're designed to make the search process of matching suppliers and demanders more efficient. And so um, search costs are definitely a key part of institutional economics because it's really about structuring our institutions to minimize search costs and make, make the whole system more efficient.